on our GMA Pinoy TV fourth quarter about to begin here in this matchup between uh, the runner-up finishers of season 95 the San Beda Red Lions with a 14-point lead against the LPU Pirates you guys are joined by Martin Ovier alongside Coach Hammer Martin Antonio we hope you guys are enjoying the two games Oh, we, got, we hope you enjoyed the first game and now you're enjoying the second game of our first day offering as well. This continues to pile up on the points, Coach Hammer. DC, DC Nueve. Right. 19 points for Eno Valdez. So finally, breaking through. Breakout game? Yeah. At papaalala po namin, unang araw pala <laughs> ng in NCAA. Okay, Eno, maganda ang simula sa kanyang collegiate career. Tony Eno with another triple across his name. Valdez, kapos yung tres. Kaya to si Gallego, snatching the board. JV, out to extend the Red Lions lead. 15 is the count right now for San Beda. Cometa. Cometa with the floater. That doesn't drop in. Larupay with the board. Here comes Kunanan. Kunanan, pinuntahan si Barba. Scoop, no hook for John Barba. Off foot. Take off si John Barba. Ah. Yeah, awkward. Yung naging lay-in niya doon. Cometa, Mintes, yung open dress. Andrada stripped away by Valdez. Yeah, that's gonna be a foul on Inok Valdez. Of course, uh, Yuki and Andrada, the five member in the Red Cubs. A totally different player from his brother, Yuki. My neighbors, <laughs> my neighbors, these two kids. I mean, Natanka din, eh? oh, it's, it's he, Ian, kasi more of a wing defender na 6'7. This yeah. guy, ito naman, more of a screen and roll type mm. of guy, can engage that offense. I was telling you, kanina, uh, off wax na, ito, magaling pumasa, can engage that offense. And nakikita natin, may growing pains din, minamama din ni Hinok Paltis. <laughs> I mean, kahit na anong galing mo pag mama yung kalabang mo, ah. tapos pinipisikal ka, nag-iiba yung tempo eh. So, it, it gets a lot of getting used to. Right, right. But eventually, of course, pag uh, nakakuha na pag sila ng reps. Pag na sila, ah. yan ah. Pag makunat na sila. Pag sila. Na sila. Oh, Makwadanya with a nice move. First basket yeah. of his NCAA career. First two for Makwadanya. Also a mythical five member in the juniors ranks we mentioned earlier. Gallego, naaagaw ni Mac. Here comes Guadagna. He averaged two steals a game. And he was with the Junior Pirates. Good pass. And now it's the one, two. So, Guadagna going to Kunanan for that lay-in. And Kunanan having a good game. Six points for him. Very active guard for Coach Gilbert. Amsali overshooting it. Here's the rebound. Oh, the denial underneath by La Rupay. Ramdam mo yung gigil sa laro ni Ryan Amsali today, no? Na, he, he wants to bust out. Yan, something to prove. Oh, oh. Uh, etong si uh, Ryan Amsali. Ginto, finally! On the third try. And something that Jerwin Ginto really needs to work on is his finishing. Mm. His brother, Bradwin, very consistent scorer when he was with San Sebastian. Ito, consistent defender naman. Etong si... Uh, Jerwin Ginto. Jerwin. And the lead is down to 10. For the San Pedro Red Lions. Valdez pull up three. Valdez knocks him down. Tinuturo ni Coach Gilbert. Swing sa kabilang side. Step in three-pointer. Making that three. Grabe. 22 points for Enoch Valdez in LPU's first game. Yan. Nakita mo yun? Winay mo three. Correct. That was a confident... Coming from uh, Valdez, Baba ang uh, Abante sa pito para sa San Beda. Trying to mount a comeback and speaking of LPU, puntahan ulit natin si Sofia Rodela. Sofia, 
Thank you, Martin. I know when we talk about LPU, Venus Valdez is definitely one of the most prominent players that we're thinking about. The Pangasin and Grace Shooting Guard is definitely one of the players that we're watching for today's game. Pero punta naman tayo sa plano ni Coach for the last quarter. Sabi ni Coach is very positive at uh, very hardworking ang ating mga LPU Pirates today. Pero medyo difficult nga ba dahil bago nga ang pagpasok nila dito sa pandemic at different ang kanilang season. Kaya naman, para kay Coach Gilbert, different talaga ang vibe for this coming season. Back to you, Martin. Maraming salamat, Sofia. You're right. This is a uh, character-building game for the LPU Pirates, uh, Coach Hammer. And now they're trying to overcome adversity against one of the strongest teams in the league in San Beda. Pero ito na yung favorite part ni Coach Hammer. Ay, yung paborito ko talaga. Now, we'll... Uh, unahan mo, unahan mo, unahan mo. Ah, sige, unahan mo. Meron tayong mga babatiin na uh, online audience natin na nanonood ngayon kasi available tayo sa YouTube. So, patiin natin si John Gabriel Cruz saying, Go LPU Pirates! Kirsten Nodado, welcome back in si Adam. Maraming salamat. Wow. Daniel A. Kermison, let's go Barba! Ang fan ni uh, Ato Barba, si Jeremy Chelsea naman, go LPU Pirates, Viva Pirata. Ngayon naman, puntahan natin ang uh, si Lance Santiago na magre-report naman mula sa San Beda. Go ahead, Lance. Salamat, Martin. Battles don't end with one win alone. Kabilaan ang tres na pinapaulan ng San Beda Red Lions kontra LPU Pirates score na 71-69. Back on track na nga ang mga bidista ng tanongin ko si Tony Inot kung anong mensahe niya para sa kanyang mga fans. Sinabi niya na we will not let you down at yan ang ginagawa nila. The pressure's on the fans of the Red Lions. Ang tanong dito, paano nila isususustain ang momentum sa mga susunod na games nila? Back to you, Martin. Maraming salamat, uh, Lance. And again, that's the challenge now for San Beda. How they close the game. Because they have a lot of good players here. And it's gonna be the closer. Oh. Exactly yun. Ginamit mo yung tama mo yun. Yung closer. Yan. They had Evan Nelly. They had Galvin Oftana. They had Donald Tangwa. They had Clint Dolinges. And the only guy left on that closing lineup is James Cuecote. Yeah, for sure. He's gonna be the uh, go-to guy. Late game for San Beda. And speaking of San Beda, ito. Si Chucharap. Animo San Beda daw. Uh, sabi naman ni Justin Prandas, go brother, Winston Inot. Yan, si Amir Zamora naman, animo. Justin uh, Prandas, red goes and beda, nakasuporta rin kay Tony Inot. Tapos ang sabi naman ni Robin, ibalik ang corona sa Mendiola. Titindi yan? Ako, pwede na ako humirin. Ayan, mga alumni, mga alumni, <laughs> mga alumni players. Junjun Punsubre. Magandang gabi sa iyo, Kuya Junjun. Of course, Coach Chico Tirona, Francis Cruz, Raymond Magay. And Choco Weber, ito, importante. Martin, ito, hindi mo ko pwede pigilan. To my mom who just had Ayan. surgery. Mom, um, uh, thankful tayo lahat. You're recovering now. And uh, Marla, watch Ayan. enjoying the action. Of course, oh, nothing. Okay. That will soon be our mom. And thank you to all of our viewers, especially online, watching us right now. Comment lang po kayo. We'll try to read your comments. Yung mga employees ng San Beda. Sa IMC, sila Kuya Joey. Sila Kuya Danny. Nakatutok din. And si Coach Kurt at ang long tennis at table yeah. tennis. Okay. Boss Kurt. Mga staff ng athletics office. And of course, we want to send a big shout out mm. to the family of Coach Ato Badulato who we lost. Yes. Uh, uh, pandemic legend. legend. One of the best uh, people in basketball. And again, a, a, a pioneer of that San Beda program that's mm. won many, many championships in the juniors. Kaya uh, nagkaroon ng trophy room sa San Beda. Ayun. Sa kanya. Dami niyo na pala uh, But we like the support. And again, that tells you how much they miss the NCAA. Oo. Oh, oh. At saka, <laughs> alam mo Martina, when we do our coverages, kaya hindi ako nahihiya bumata. Because these people are the diehards that we're asking, kailan ba tayo maglalaro ulit? Kailan ba maglalaro ulit yung NCAA? They are invested. Right. So, you got to give uh, credit for Curtis to the fans. Exactly. Over two years in the making, we are finally back. NCAA season 97. By the way, it will continue tomorrow with another set of games. So, abangan niyo po yan. 75 to 64. In the meantime, that is our count. 4 and 49 remaining in the ball game. San Beda trying to hold off this LPU attack. Penuela double teamed. Pajio driving baseline. Pajio. Wala yung layup niya, but there was a foul called in the process. Itatawag to kay Sean Umali. Siya na yung umaako nung foul. So this will be the question amongst all the 10 teams. Who will be the closer for each team? Simple, simple question, but 
on a shortened season, right. the number one consideration is, is your team in condition and when push comes to shove in the dying minutes, everybody's tired, who are you going to go to, mm-hmm. yung inyong go-to guy, to get that ship back and get that championship? For, for some teams, they're hard to find closer. Klarong klaro. But for others, yun pa yung hahanapin nila and that's gonna be a part of their identity mm-hmm. in the True. NCAA. 4 and 39 left. It is JB Bahio. Tubong Cebu at the free throw line right now. Again, a veteran big for Coach Boyd Fernandez. Mm-hmm. Ah, yung gabi sa inyong tanan. Yan sa Cebu. Meron din ta. Oh. Nakatanaw sa ating uh, dula. Yung gabi. Marami rin nanonood sa atin dyan. Push. Sa mitmatan bug na po. Yan. Oh. <laughs> Automatic. Quinto inside. Quinto converts. Six points in the fourth quarter. After being so quiet in the first three, it is Jerwin Quinto showing off his wares here in the fourth quarter. Exactly. Corner shot for Alfaro. Rims out. Yancy Remulia secures it. 76 to 66. Another good stop by LPU extending to the shooters. No clean look for San Beda. Remulia, Remulia driving, nawala, Remulia kicks it out, Guatanya catch and shoot, too strong, rebounded by James Cuecute, and I was clear, he stepped on the line. If those were size 11s, hindi siya stepping, uh, uh, 12, mo on 12, mo on size 12 si James Magalanding niya. Saka nangyari sa harap natin, oh, so nakita natin. <laughs> HD camera, correct, di correct. ko makakalusot. Hard to miss. Oh, oh. <laughs> Navarro. Enzo, seven seconds to shoot. Navarro forcing it to the corner. Remulia, short for Remulia. Navarro will get another opportunity. Sana yung pumukol. And making the three-pointer is Enzo Navarro. Fourth try is the charm. Enzo Navarro, fourth three-pointer. Inching closer, down to single digits. Seven points, but San Beda not boxing yeah. out. A lot of opportunities wasted by San Beda to secure that rebound. Here's James Quecute. Umahabol na dito ang LPU. Bahio fouled! Count that shot. Hold on. Mukhang sinawsaw pa eh. Mukhang uh-huh. ibinaba pa yung bola. But a great recognition by Ralph Penuela on that post up. Mm-hmm. Post to post pass. Mahirap yung uh-huh. overruled. So that was overruled. Counted. Yung tira ko si Jamie Bahio. Credit assist to Ralph Penuela. Penuela with the dime. And Ralph Bahio. Or J.P. Bahio with a 2 plus 1. Crucial to. That will uh, potentially extend it to 10 again. Lalo na, momentum is uh, slowly shifting to LPU side. Bahio, ooh. In, In and out. Lilinis mm-hmm. yung labi ng ring. One out of three from the line, J.P. Bahio. Unusual. Oh, Usually good shooter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good outside shooter. That's right. Oh, great pass. McDo couldn't handle it. So, Atingin na sa ring bago uh, pa masalo yung bola. But a great backdoor. Kanina pa nirarag. Ni Coach Gilbert yung sets na against mm. this 2-3 zone defense. Nakakuha sila ng dalawa in the first half yeah. of that backdoor. 78 to 69. 9 is still the lead. All good hustle oh, here by effort. Ginto. Bahio na awala, Bahio easy lay-in. And with that basket, it is back up to 11, 80 to 69 for the San Pedro Red Lions. May timeout po tayo dito. Magbabalik po ang inyong coverage ng NCAA Season 97. doing the men's basketball here but afterwards we will have women's volleyball live action din po yan mm-hmm. virtual taekwondo magpapatuloy po gayon din ang ating virtual chess so abangan nyo po yan lahat ng mga fans natin and athletes ng NCAA these are the four sporting events lined up this season Yancy Remulia 
pumukol mula sa tres. Off a timeout, Off getting, a timeout. A, getting a three-point shot. But, wow. yun lang, getting, giving up that foul and they're on penalty. Masakit to para sa LPU. And it's also gonna be on Yancy Remulia. Number four on him. Two and 16 to go. So it is Penuela heading to the free throw line. The MVP pick of Coach Hammer. Wala ka nang pipiliin. Nandun siya sa team Yan. na mamamaximize yung talent niya at inaantay din to ng San Beda community na mag-break Yan. out. Eh. The pakulod nun. Uh -huh. Yan. Nagmula naman sa Washington College of Iloilo. Ilonggo. Ilonggo. Yan. Ralph Penuela going to the line here. Mintes yung pangalawa. So he splits his charities. And the lead is still nine. Navarro is double team. The swing to Guadagna. Ooh! Second turnover. Off the catch. Yeah. For Mac Guadagna. Adjustments. Yeah. The first game jitters. Gotta give it to the rookie. Last two minutes of the game. Between the Red Lions and the Pirates. So on the floor right now for Coach Boyet, you got Kuntapa, Kwekute, Abuda, Bahio, and Penuela at the point. Going back to his starters. Yeah, ito na yung starters na ibinalik niya. So Penuela looking for the clear. Penuela will take on Remulia. Five seconds to work with. Step back three. No good. Abuda with the offensive board. A big one for San Beda. Penuela wala pa rin off the bank shot. Another attempt this time by Bahio. And great defense inside for LPU. Here comes Valdez. Navarro back to Valdez. Valdez driving. Valdez kicking it out. Guadagna for three. No. And Abuda securing the board for the Red Lions. Here's Penuela bringing it down. Kwekute now. You expect him to take over in this juncture. They're going back to James. Kwekute, ooh, running into Yancey. Turn over for Kwekute. 61 seconds remaining. In our ball game, second offering. If you guys were not able to catch the game earlier, an exciting finish to that game. Letran with a win against CSB 67-63. Ito naman. Medyo dikitan din tayo between LPU and San Beda. Great pass from Enzo going to Ginto. Pero wala yung tira mula sa malapit. Navarro. Oh, good tap from Dami Kuntapay. And the bump from Enzo Navarro. And a whistle here. Matawagan ng foul si Enzo Navarro. So free throws coming up for Dami Kuntapay. Take a look at that again. Two players hustling for the ball. Oh, takitang kita. Yung uh, tulak dun. Wala kay Enzo Navarro. Erasing the big guy in uh, Kuntapay. Good sell job. Yeah. Of Dami Kuntapay. Oh. Good effort by uh, Dami Kuntapay. At the free throw line. Looking kitang kita to... naman dun sa jersey. Eh. Oh. Kitang kita sa jersey na dumive. <laughs> kitang kita sa jersey. And if you're a big guy, ba? if you're a big guy and you have a dirty jersey, right. that's what coaches love. Yeah, clean. Meron siyang uh, ebidensya oh. sa kanyang jersey. Sumad sad lang. Yeah. <laughs> he goes one out of two from the line. So lead is back up to 10 for San Beda. Finishing touches of this game when we return. Kaya alis, magbabalik ang NCAA on GTV. Six points off yeah. field goals. Maganda yung uh, punto mo dyan. That was the turning point for mm -hmm. San Beda. They led it by as many as 18, if I'm not mistaken, at one point. And they never looked back. Alam mo naman ng San Beda, pag pinalamang mo yan ng ganyan kalaki, very hard to catch up to them. Mm -hmm. And of course, coaching staff ng San Beda, hardworking, yeah. scouting, Jerk Estrada, mm. team stats, coach, uh, coach Joey. And Coach L.A. Siyempre, paborito ko, Coach J.B. Season. Mm. Coach James. Okay na si Mami. Go tending. So, basketball count. A quick play of the timeout for LPU. 
There's a lot of, uh, lot of people that are watching. watching. A lot yeah. of people. Even even the coaches. Coaches around the country. Coach Jutes Templo and the, the Templo family. Scouting, <laughs> doing the advanced stats. Wow. He loves doing the numbers. And uh, we, we like bantering about it and seeing. Because this itong, itong NCAA is really high-paced game. It and is. possessions. Mm -hmm. And really, nakakatawa dahil ito na tayo ulit. Yan. Back to the ball game. Lalo to. Oh, maganda yung balikan natin dito. Ooh. Yung palitan na gano'n ang ayaw natin. <laughs> That's JB Bahio against Valdez. Pagsak si Valdez. Oh. What happened right there, being pressured, sending a message, oh. and setting a hard screen. No oh. intention, yeah, no intention. To hit, but the angle, yeah. he, he won't. Etong si Inok Valdez wanted to fight over the screen. Mm -hmm. Tumama sa bewang ni JB Bahio. So he whistled against San Beda. Inadvertente. Eh. Yeah. Hindi naman hinabol kasi makikita mo kung hahabulin, kung may intent. Mm -hmm. Hindi umang yung bewang gagalaw yung paa. Coach Hammer, you like what you saw with the Red Lions today? Are they primed to have some redemption in season 97? I would put that statement, I would edit it a bit. Okay. I love what I saw from all the teams so far. Yeah. Lyceum, for one, is despite one bad quarter, they're playing really tough. CSB surprised me with the way they executed Coach Charles Chu's game plan. Mm -hmm. Letran, looking like the reigning and defending champs. San Beda, a little more fine tuning. Couldn't make shots, a lot of shots, a lot of field goal attempts. Para yeah. sa but the defense is on point for right. San Beda. So the other six teams, aabangan pa natin yan the following days. That's right. And that's what's scary about this Red Lions team. They weren't making a lot of their shots, but they're on their way to a convincing win. Walang, walang malas sa defense. Oh. Walang malas sa defense. Walang day off. And day off. Oh, oh. Sa depensa talaga. Wala. Yun yung puhunan nila eh. And they were 18 and 0 for mm -hmm. a reason. Mind you ah, yung 18 and 0 nila, they were the slowest team. Pinakamabagal despite yeah, having no. Evan Nelly, That's a good James point. James Cuecote, uh -huh. and Calvin Oftana. Thoroughbreds. Umi-sprint, humahard sprint. Mababa ang fast break points mm. nila. You know how they went one they limited their opponents to 36.2% and they are one of the top three teams in rebounding. It's good that you reminded me that because I think it's isa yun sa mga talking points natin pag pinag-uusapan natin. As you take a look at the mem members of our uh, management committee, si Dax Castellano and Father Glenn Ortega OAR. Oh, they're being long hair ngayon. Oh, ah. But gets, eh, Coach Rick Alianto also there. Oh, Coach Rick, yeah. Coach Dax, kausap ko kanina eh. Ay ko, congrats ha. Ay, day one pa lang, bata, huwag mong patingin. <laughs> Mancom chair, of course, yep. uh, Sir Dax Castellano. And Coach Paul Supan is also in the building right long, there. Long hair din. No, long uso, hair din, eh. uso, uso. Rockstar look. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, <laughs> that ship sailed a long time ago. Oh, okay a long lang. time ago. <laughs> but it's great to see our uh, management committee here well represented. Dito po sa ating venue in La Salle, Green Hills. 82 to 76. It is James Cuecute. Some last seconds. Or last second play, rather. Para dito sa San Pedro Red Lions. So, free throws coming up for Ralph Penuela. By the way, he is the leading scorer. Tied with, right now, tied with uh, JP Bahio with 11 points. Looking to add to his total, but an impressive debut for Ralph in season 97. Solid, yeah. but not spectacular. Started the first half with four turnovers. Mm -hmm. If you're playing lead guard for one of the story teams, you couldn't be turning the ball over that much. Mm -hmm. You're, you're uh, getting the range from Escobar, Hermida, Bolik, Amer. Those guys, they don't turn the ball over. You want to lead, the champ you want to lead this team to a championship? You got to take care of that mm -hmm. basketball. And that's something he will work on in the coming definitely, days. Most definitely. Uh -huh. Navarro taking the three. Three seconds remaining. And uh, both teams still battling. Until the final second, until the final buzzer. But, mm. 30 months ka na pahingi. <laughs> Ang gandulo, susulitin mo yan. Oh. Sipin mo na lang yung mga volleyball player natin. In the upcoming women's yun. volleyball. Diba? Excited na rin Sino yan. Sino challenge sa Arellano? Dahil dami rin grumadjot sa Arellano. Marami rin. Dami 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 rin. Dami
Well, CSB has always been a contender. Consistent. Magandang They're programa. able to recruit. Mm-hmm. And of course, the, the, the program of Perpetual as well. Mm-hmm. Both men's and men's women's and volleyball. Women's. Consistent. Oh. So, tignan natin. Yun, women's volleyball coming up after our men's basketball tournament. Pahio adding to the points of San Beda. But that will be it. It is an opening day win for the San Beda Red Lions here in NCAA Season 97, beating the LPU Pirates here 84 to 76. That is our final count, final tally in our second offering and final one of the day as well. So, titignan natin po kung sino yung ating napiling best player of the game. But the San Beda Red Lions coach Hammer, very impressive today. At ito ang iyong napili. First, JB Bahio providing the numbers in the fourth quarter 12 points 8 rebounds 2 blocks and an assist for JB Bahio. really a guy that needs to step up especially with a lot of playing time in front of him and he needs to produce for this team to be still contenders in this tournament Bahio with 12 points and 8 rebounds to lead away for San Vera they get the win 84 to 76 and on that note we would like to thank you for catching all of the action on behalf of the entire team our courtside reporters San Santiago and Sofia Rodelas my partner Kurt Hammer Martin Antonio this is Martin Aviera saying thank you good night and see you tomorrow for the NCAA season 97 stronger together buo ang puso